guys, the Fantastic Z here, and today I am here with a video on animation mistakes you should avoid. And if you don't know these mistakes, I'm about to show you. So first of all, you have to open your animation editor, like I use on Moon Animation Suit. Any will do, it will be the same. So, as we know, the Roblox autonomy is basically like our autonomy. So we have to move the Robloxian bodies like how we would move our own bodies. So uh, I'll just let them be in a little T-pose right here. And um, I'll show you why these are colored red. So one of the first mistakes people do, this is a very easy mistake, it's a pretty basic one, but don't be bending your joints um, like this. Because I mean, you're, you're basically just breaking the bone over there. So, um, don't do that, just bend it this way, and make sure it's, like, straight. Don't bend it that way, or else it would be like breaking your bones, alright? You don't want to do that. Bend it that way, like this. Alright, perfect like that. Same with the legs. Don't bend them like this, alright? Your kneecaps would get destroyed. Bend them like this. Simple enough, right? Alright, so now you might want to know why I, um, color-coded it like this as well. So, um, with these joints, of course, you can move them any direction you want. This way, that way, you know, as long as it doesn't bash into the head, um, or go into the torso. But you can bend this one anyway, alright? So, let's say you wanted the elbow to be right here, like this. Yeah, no, don't do that. Your elbow cannot move like that either. Instead, to compensate, to compensate, to compensate, Oh, whatever. You go like this. Alright. It won't break your elbow. It won't be obliterated. You won't destroy all those precious ligaments. You, you just want to bend it like that if you want your elbow there. But alright, I'm going to reset these joints and um, show you why I kind of like color-coded it like this. So, these are the joints that you cannot bend in any direction, alright? So, just bend these ones like this way and that way. Don't bend them like this, don't bend them like that. Also, if you are going to use the world space, um, if you're a moon animation suit user, you can bend these ones with the world space. You know, you can bend the head as well, but maybe not uh, into the torso, because, you know, that's not realistic. Unless you're going for a humor effect. And, um, if you are gonna use the world the world space, I recommend not um, using elbows or any other joints, because then it will be a little bit um, out of place. You know, it will affect the same thing, like with elbows and whatnot. So, if you want to move these joints, just move them like this. And, yeah, that's pretty good. So, here's another basic tip, uh, mostly for walking. So, I'm gonna animate a walk really quick, uh, I'll be back. Alrighty, so now I have made a basic walk, but there is something wrong with it. Do you see it? Well, it's kind of too fast. So what we should really be doing is... Well, it also kind of looks like he's just sliding across the floor. We don't want that. So what we will do is, what I want you to do is, put your finger where my cursor is, alright? And keep it there. Now, what I want you to do is, whenever that foot moves, now, as you can see, it is touching the ground right now on this area. So put your foot right there, or I mean your finger right here, um, add a little bit of um, movement to it, like uh, add a little keyframe there, put your finger right here, and as you can see, the foot, once the foot goes off the ground over there, I want you to move this area where my finger is at, over here, and then you get something like this. It looks a little more proper now. But let's see, the foot kind of goes down earlier, so I'll just put my finger where that is at. Over here is where, it, around where it gets 
moving. So move your finger there. Now as you can see it's over here, so we'll move that over there. And now it looks a little more proper. Just a little more proper. I can probably make it more proper. Let's see if I can do that. Well, see, it kind of hits the ground over here. I'll just go to that exact keyframe. Right there. Put your finger where my cursor is. Or wherever the foot is. Make a keyframe over there. If you have some pizza, pizza grease on your fingers, don't worry. You can just wipe it off later. Alright. And then... Where that foot is at on this area. But it kind of gets disproportional here because this part of the foot touches down. So um, add another keyframe here, remove this one that is the head, and put your finger right here where the, this foot is whenever you're making it. And then once the foot starts getting off of the ground, you can move that over here. You see now it looks a little more proper. I'm not using any e easing styles because I'm not like going like sicko mode serious type on this and then uh, yeah you don't want fighting feet just have like good footwork so you can kind of go like this looks at maybe move it a little more forward and then you can do the same with this foot right so yeah remember what I told you put your finger right here Move that a little bit. Once this part of the foot gets in contact, you'll switch to this part. Put your finger right there. And yeah, there you go. That's a little tip I have. You don't have to follow this tip if, uh, let's say, you're, the floor is like uh, you make it ice or something. Then just do what you want. But for this one, I'm just helping you with like basic footwork, right? Keeping your foot in the right place so that way they don't shift out of place. It will help a lot with animating, walking or running and whatnot. Yeah, I kind of wanna... Yeah, let me just fix that really quick. And... Yeah. But remember, just put your finger where the foot is going to be at, if you want. And you can just make necessary adjustments and whatnot. But, um, yeah, that's about it with a few basic mistakes that some people could make when animating. Footwork, um, of course, bending the joints in the wrong areas, in the wrong way, and many other things. But these are just basic ones. If you want uh, a more advanced tips, you can go to like um, a server known as like Moon Animation Suit, like a Discord server. There's a lot of great people that will teach you the basics of animation. Or even just watching Alan Becker's basics of animation as well. But yeah, that will do for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you in the next tutorial maybe, or next video if you want to subscribe or whatnot.